So the biggest difference between the mountain bike short and your typical short is definitely going to be the construction. Uh, you have an overshort and a liner short. The overshort is going to provide a good level of protection. Uh, it's going to be made from a nice durable woven fabric that will typically be able to stand up to crashes and tears from branches and all sorts of things that you'll find out on the trail. And that liner short includes a chamois in it that's going to provide a lot more comfort for long days in the saddle. So the rise is really important for a mountain bike short. That's the uh, part of the short that goes from your inner leg up to the waistband. Um, so on a traditional short, that can be quite long. On a mountain bike short, we're gonna tailor that to be out of the way of the saddle. So when you're moving around, you're on the bike on a tough climb, you're not getting hung up uh, with that fabric on the saddle. So a lot of mountain bike shorts come with uh, a technology called DWR, and that's durable water repellency. That is just a finish that's applied to fabrics that will shed water. At Pearl Izumi, we've developed a product called PI Dry, which is really the best DWR that you can get. The difference between PI Dry and a traditional DWR is that PI Dry lasts for the lifetime of the garment. It's applied at the yarn level, so it's part of the fabric forever. I like PI Dry for mountain biking because if I'm on a wet trail or doing a creek crossing or something, I know that the moisture or water is just going to bead right off and that my shorts are gonna stay cleaner longer. Thank <laughs> you.